Jaguar Land Rover headquarters in Coventry, England, and I'm standing with a beautiful, magnificent, wonderful anachronism, a, an automotive dinosaur of an age when long noses and high horsepower and short rear decks and fantastic performance were absolutely at the pinnacle of the automotive world. We are in this transition now to the EV world, and this is anything but an EV world. Look at the design. It is almost as perfect design, uh, design as you will ever see anywhere in the world. The car itself performs wonderfully. Tremendous acceleration, one of the fastest road cars you can buy today. It's a beautiful, beautiful automobile from a driving perspective. The suspension design is absolutely fantastic. What you get here is a perfect blend of comfort and precision. Set a line in a corner and the car sits there. It just stays there in place. And yes, this car is designed for whipping around corners. The body structure is so rigid. Uh, take a look at the big fat A pillars on each side. Yes. They obscure some of your visibility to the right or to the left, but this, there's no flex, there's no twist, there's no bend, there's nothing to upset the driving manners. The seats wrap around you and hug you in place beautifully, just, uh, just with, not only with comfort, but they hold you in place as you whip around corners. The cabin itself, very clean, very tidy, simple enough. The graphics in the instrument binnacle, very clear, very sensible. The center stack, again, nicely designed. All in all, this is a car that, well, if I had Elon Musk's money, I would put this in my garage behind the, the S and the Y and the X and the 3 and whatever else, the super truck, whatever else is coming. And I would drive this on the weekends because this is a car that is so raw and visceral and such a, 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 a nod to the past that it must be in any automotive enthusiast garage.